Okay. So welcome everybody. Um, I think that everybody should be in. Um, okay, and please uh, feel free to introduce yourself in the chat and let us know you're here and we will go ahead and get started. Wonderful, thank you, Amy. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Olive Moyer and I am the Artist Surviving Coordinator. Been doing this for four years now and every year it just keeps getting better and better. And every year I'm still blown away by all the creativity out there. It, it's just incredible. So I wanna thank you for joining us this afternoon as we announce the fourth annual Artist Surviving Winners. We are absolutely overwhelmed by the creativity of our artists. Every single entry exhibits so much passion, love, and courage. Thank you to each and every one of you who participated this year. And we are really thrilled to be able to have some of our judges here online with us today. And I'm going to introduce them to you and let them give a little brief introduction of themselves and um, their experience as a judge for Artists Surviving. And so we have Judy Jones on the call, Rena Thaler, Nia Serafimides. Sir um, we do have a great little video from Joshua Silverstein. He was unable to make it. And uh, Susan Adami as well. And um, yeah. he unfortunately can't make it. So okay. first of all, I want to introduce Judy Jones. She is a printmaker and lives in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is her second year as an artist surviving judge. Thank you, Judy, for returning. So Judy, would you like to say hello, uh, say something to the participants about your experience as a judging this incredible work? Yes, I would love to say hello. I can't believe I have this opportunity. Um, my second year uh, of judging this, I have to say that I kind of wish I'd stayed in the art therapy curriculum, but I have certainly been convinced by all the participants that, that um, the making of art is something special and it uh, is almost magical. And I'm just thrilled by all the work I got to see and everything I had was all the stories I read. And I thank you for that. Wonderful. Thanks, Judy. Hi, Rena. Thaler down Hi, everybody. Here. Hi, Rena. Rena is an executive director at the Art League of Ocean City in Maryland. And she incorporates mixed media, collage, and acrylics in her art. Um, Rena has, this is her third year judging. So thank you, Rena, for that. Would you care thank to share you. some of your takeaways from the experience of being a judge for Artists Surviving? Yeah, I, I too want to thank all of the entrants for their courage and um, creativity and shining a light on the situations that they've gone through. And um, as an arts administrator, and as, as uh, Olive mentioned, I run an art, a nonprofit arts organization and an artist myself. I know the impact that arts can have on communities and on individuals and uh, just, I personally am so touched every time and honored to be able to um, view your work. And I, and I love interacting with your stories as well. And I just encourage each of you, whether you win, because we, we give prizes and all the time at the Art League. And um, it doesn't matter if you get a prize, an award, an acknowledgement, it, that's not what it's about. It's about that self-expression and that somehow leads to healing, to self-healing and to um, self-awareness. So please keep making art um, along your journey and documenting your journey. And uh, I personally am affected because I'm a breast cancer survivor myself. And um, I know how healing art was to me in my own journey. So thank you for the opportunity and bless you all. So. Oh, thank you, Rena, so much from that. Neo Seraphimides down here is a fine, art photographer. He lives in San Francisco. His work was recently included in a group show at San Francisco's De Young Museum. And this is Neo's first year as a judge with us. Neo, hi, how are you doing? Hi there, great. great. Yeah. Uh, what made you decide to be a judge for Artists Surviving? And tell us about your experience. 
Sure. Um, well, I was asked by a good friend, a uh, very good friend who has experienced, uh, you know, this firsthand. Uh, and I have to say, at first, I was like, hmm, you know, am I, can I do this? Can I uh, provide value and, um, and really do this effectively? And I decided that it was really something I needed to do to um, contribute to this wonderful effort. And despite that trepidation, I have to say that the seeing all this wonderful work was really reinvigorating and inspirational for me. Um, I just really uh, was moved by so many of the stories and so much of the work. And I think, <clears throat> you know, at a time when there's so many like perceived troubles in the world and there's so many things to deal with, the, the notion that art has uh, a healing function and, you know, an important part to play can get lost. And this really brought that back to me. Um, I found it very inspirational. So thank you. Thank you to all the uh, entrants. It was wonderful seeing the work. Thank you, Neo, so much for helping us with that. Um, Joshua Silverstein, he's another uh, judge we have at Art is Surviving. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us. And what's cool about Joshua, he's a beatboxer. And you can find him regularly dropping beats on network television. <laughs> Yeah, so he sent us a great message. And Amy, would you play that for everybody? For yes, us? let me make sure, tell me if it works. <laughs> okay, we gotcha. Everybody out there, uh, this is Joshua Silverstein, one of the judges of the Art of Surviving. I just wanted to thank all of the participants uh, and for, for letting me get to see all your beautiful work. I was so inspired and touched by the poetry and the photography and the visual arts, the fine arts. It was amazing. I mean, I, I, I have to go paint a mural somewhere now because that's how inspired I was. Um, it's all the winners. Congrats. Your work was phenomenal. I mean, listen, everybody's work was phenomenal. It was really a treat to get to experience all of it. And I want to just keep and you guys know that I'm going to keep supporting you guys however I can. Um, keep creating, keep keep thriving, keep living. Um, thanks for letting me be a judge. You guys are awesome. Uh, all right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody out there. Thanks, Amy. I got to say, after that, I can't wait to see Joshua's mural. Maybe we can exhibit that next year <laughs> for him. But uh, the other one is Susan Adami. She's a professional artist from San Francisco Bay Area. She has shown her work all over the world from California to New York to Corsica, France. I wish she could be with us this afternoon, but unfortunately she had a conflict. And this is Susan's first year as a judge as well. And it was great having her on board. And I believe that she left every single participant a comment on their entry and she did a great job at doing that and um, you know I just want to thank her for that as well. All right so should we head over and start announcing the winners? Yes let me ready for that? get ready. Do we have a drum roll? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Does that work? Okay here we All go. Right. This is always my favorite part is to be able to announce these winners. And um, we're going to actually show them on the screen as we announce them too. Okay, so give me one second with the share okay. screen for a second. Um, and then you While you're on. waiting, can we thank you too, and um, Amy and um, Olive and the Raymond Wood Foundation for um, spearheading this project and bringing it you know, to the world because I know how much work you guys put into this. and. Uh, it's a beautiful effort. So thank you for all your work. Thank you. Second. Oh, thanks, Rena. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay. Are we ready, Amy? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with a drawing, painting, and printmaking category. And in the children's age group, Samaya Glazer Bay with friend, the friend of my heart over here. And um, 
Boy, I, I hope everybody got a chance to watch her video. It was pretty amazing. Uh, the youth category group was Katerina Love with Tea Time. And the adult, Elaine Wilson with Mystery Machine. There we go. You want to switch up 3D multimedia category. Mm -hmm. We had a tie in the children's age group. We have Harper Newport with Pond Friends, Lila Everest with Cranio Connections. In the youth age group, Will Mumford with Fork Festival. In the adult age group, Noelle Lane with her succulent bowl. The next one is photography. In the children's category, Lila Everest with Many, Many Me's which I think we all can relate to <laughs> that one. And the youth age group, Levi Olson with Hope Rising. In the adult age group, we have Kristen Buccini, Buccini, I hope I pronounced yeah. that correct, with Glowing Flowers of Hope. On to the creative writing. In the children's category, Harper Newport again with her wonderful poem about the beach. And then we had the adult category, which was Elise Rosati. There's such a feeling as nothing. And then we like to do a best overall. So the most points by our judges, overall, the category is an age group. And that goes to Katarina Love with Tea Time. Thank you, Katarina. Okay, so on to the People's Choice Awards. We decided this year we're going to do a first, second, and third place for each age group, including the caregiver and family members. So in the children's age group, first place goes to Samaya Glazer Bay with the face of beauty with 546 points. Mm. Second place, once again, Samaya Glazer Bay, the friend of my heart with 517 points. Third place, Alex Wood with Color Works with 282 points. In the youth category, we have first place, Levi Olson with Hope Rising with 509 points. Mm -hmm. Second place was Leslie Lamka, Never Stop Growing with 220 points. Third place, Katerina Love, Tea Time with 106 points. In the adult age group, the first place was Amber Paschke, left brain, right brain, life water with 526 points. Second place, Venice Marelli with 120 marks. That was her story uh, and her points, 302 points. Third place, Sierra Barnes, Positivity in spring. Now onto the caregiver family members. We have first place with Meyer Albusati in her video, Mama. You got that there? And then second place, Eugenie Shu with cranio, hopefully I can say this, hip hop, adipic diabetes. Okay, crani cranial hypopit adipic diabetes insipidus because this is the life we lead. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm going to try to say this. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. And uh, Eugenie got 456 points. And third place goes to Russell Rickard with mixed feelings with 35 points. And that's it. That's the announcements for the winner. So thank you all. I mean, I'm just so proud of each and every one of you out there. And I want to thank every one of our judges too, yeah. Judy, Susan, Rena, Neo, and Joshua. You did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Yeah, we're super grateful to our judges because we know this is time, a lot of time and probably challenging. So we really appreciate you dedicating time to this. I sure do. And of course, every single person who voted out there for us, this mm -hmm. um, helps us to raise money to support this program into the future to cover all the cash prizes that we give out as well. And it just, there's no entry. 
for these and we want to keep it that way and we want to be able to keep being able to provide these cash prizes for our artists and our survivors out there so thank you very much yes i I, def I definitely want to echo that thank you so much for um everyone who puts their work into this um i think it's so you know brave to put your work out there and um and, and on top of it already having experienced what we all experience in this journey so um thank you for participating i think it's i've always felt strongly that this event is a positive way to share awareness during brain tumor awareness month um, and I think that, you know, just the feedback we get from the world that, that takes us in is always so positive. So thank you all. And we're so, so proud that we wish we could give awards to everybody because everyone deserves it. Um, but congrats to everyone who has uh, received an award and we will be following up with that in the next couple of weeks. So thank you. And also wanted to thank our sponsors too. Um, and I'll just run through them real quick. Olive, we just want to thank San Yona. Um, our gold sponsor and Continent Ther Continence Therapeutics, our silver sponsor, and our bronze sponsors, the local, our local community sponsors, the Farmers Bank of Willard and Preston Automotive Group. Um, we really appreciate their support as well. Thank you. Do we have any questions, Amy, for the judges? Um, we just have lots of really good feedback. Um, just, you know, everybody says congratulations to the winners. Um, Thank you for the creativity and thanks to all the judges um, and the participants for sharing their beautiful work. Um, so I think we're just echoing if anyone has any questions or follow-up questions to the judges, uh, we just have a few more minutes, but otherwise um, I wanted to also thank Olive. Olive has coordinated this event year after year and has been a wonderful, um, part of growing this and keeping it all together. So thank you so much and putting up with um, me. So thank you <laughs> for that. We really appreciate her efforts. It's too. pretty easy, Amy. <laughs> easy. Thank you, everyone, once again. Yep, let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all for uh, participating today. We will be putting this out as a recording. Again, this is an effort by the Raymond A. Wood Foundation and our mission is to support um, quality of life solutions for um, hypothalamic pituitary brain tumor survivors and also uh, those that suffer similar effects from a brain tumor. And um, please keep following us on Facebook and Instagram um, and we hope to do this again next year. So we hope to see you all again next May. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye judges, Bye. thank you. <laughs>